Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be flying out the MiG-23 MLD, and I'm going to be showing you why this is still absolutely dominating top tier jets in War Thunder. I just finished grinding this thing out not too long ago. I still don't have every single modification for it, but I do have all the missiles already, including the R-24T, which is probably my favorite missile in the game right now. It is so, so good. For those of you who don't know, it is an all-aspect, long-range IR missile which provides a huge advantage over your opponents when they don't know you're coming because you won't ping on radar. So with the R24T, you have the ability to enslave it to the IRST tracking system that the MLD has. Or you could just lock it by itself like you would something like an R60 or an AIM-9 without using the IRST system. I try to use it with the IRST as much as I can just because it makes it a lot easier to lead the target earlier and you can lead a lot with this missile before you fire it. Now. What you're watching right now, that was me firing two R24Ts, the first one completely missed, but as you see right here, the second one hit. Now that actually puts me in a pretty good position after killing that guy, because there's two Phantoms right here in front of me, both of which going the opposite direction. Now I fired my R24s already, so I gotta switch to my R60s, and I'm surprised I even got a lock through these clouds. The it's, It connected the F4 no problem, as if the clouds weren't even there, which is awesome. And the other Phantom right here, Still has no idea I'm there, which is really surprising to me, but that's going to give me another really easy kill with the R60s, which, if they were paying attention at all, they could have fired one flare, and that R60 would have gone straight for that flare, and they'd both be alive right now. So, right now, I notice I have an F4E behind me, and then I see a J7, or two J7Es in front of me, and above me, and I felt comfortable enough with my teammates around to start turning. Um, the, M the MLD is absolutely insane in dogfighting. It shouldn't be as good as it is, but it is, so I'm going to use it to its advantages. Basically, all I'm doing is try to bleed the speed of my opponents as much as possible so I can get behind them and shoot them all down. But right here, I take a risky head-on with this J7, and it ends up with me killing him, but me also getting my uh, tail control taken completely out. So I think I'm out of the game at this point, but... Luckily, everyone involved in that dogfight uh, was still distracted, so I get my butt out of there. So, obviously, I think I'm completely done for, but uh, as it turns out, I still have a little bit of control of my plane. I realized that I am pretty much going dead straight with uh, Afterburner going. Now, I go to the edge of the map, and you know it turns me around, so I lose all my speed, and I start going towards the ground. But I realized if I use my air brake, it pitches me up slightly. And I I even went back towards the battle just to see if I could get lucky with a missile, get a lock and fire it. But I didn't. But luckily, none of them killed me, even though I was a sitting duck. So I actually make it all the way back to my airfield without any tail control. All I got is ailerons and air brake and throttle. So with a little bit of finesse, I actually end up putting the plane on the ground. And uh, to my surprise, it didn't explode upon touching it, which was super nice. Because I honestly thought I came down a little harder than the game would allow. But it worked, and I'm going to repair and get back in the air. Alright, we got repaired, and now I'm on my way to help my teammates find the last two guys and kill them, to hopefully win the match. And not too long after getting back up in the air, I spot the first of the last two guys alive in F4E, which, which is a good thing because he is honestly the biggest threat. I believe the other guy was a J7. I see my teammate calling for help. I considered leaving, uh, leaving them alone and let them dogfight it out, because I know that's probably what I would have want done if I was in that dogfight. But... He calls him out and he's asking, you know, hey, help, get this guy away from me. So I load up the R24T, send it his way, and he's at low speed. Doesn't see me coming, which will net me a super, super effortless kill. All right, I flew back to the enemy base to see if I could find the last guy. I didn't see him there, so I ended up turning around and just going back to the middle of the map. And my teammate says he's on my six. I turn around and see him, and I'm about to throw in a dogfight with this J7. I figure there's enough, enough distance in between me and the J7 to turn around and try and head his direction to try and get the fight started. Because, frankly, I was pretty confident I could win a fight versus a J7 in, a, in, in, a, in an MLD. So as I'm halfway through this turn, I hear a jet coming through the clouds, and I realize, like, oh shit, that's him. Um, I thought I had a lot more distance than that to turn around and maybe try head-on or try for an R24, 
Um, obviously, I misjudged that, but since I was at a lower speed, since it just came out of a turn, and he was at quite a high speed, just that one turn, now I'm on his tail. Uh, I whiffed some shots, turn on the R60s to get him warmed up, whiff some more shots right here. Then he's going to go down, I'm going to roll over, try to follow him, and he pitches up right here, which was his grave mistake. And I'm going to get the R60 lock on him, and it's going to take him out. And that's that for that game. So, six kill game, MiG-23, MLD, not too bad. You get these five, six, sometimes seven kill games in the MLD quite a bit. It is extremely strong in the current War Thunder meta at 11.3. Not only do you have the missiles that everybody else has, you have the flight performance as well. You're faster, you turn better, you climb better, everything. It's really, really strong. I think the only aircraft that I don't feel fully confident dogfighting in a 1v1 in this plane would be the F5E. But since Gaiden jacked up the repair cost of the F5E to 22,000 lines, you don't see that many of them. And when you do, you, it's just like an off chance that you happen to be dogfighting that one that's in the match. I haven't even had a proper dogfight with an F5E yet since I've gotten this plane, let alone seen more than one or two per match. And if you end up getting in a dogfight with something like a Phantom, you're just going to win pretty much no matter what, even if you're worse than the other guy because this thing just turns so, so well. So to wrap things up, the MiG-23 MLD is the absolute king of top tier at the moment. I'm sure that'll change very soon with whatever War Thunder decides to add next. But for now, this still reigns king. Some people would say the EJ Kai is on up here with it, but I don't even have the EJ Kai. But I can't imagine it's any better than this plan. So if you want a plane to just clap everybody in, this is the one to get. All that said though, I could have also just been getting really lucky matchmaking with players who aren't very good. It seemed like the games I was getting were pretty evenly matched when I, uh, after I got the R24s. It didn't seem like there were many steamrolls, which really gives me hope for the future of top tier because lately it seems like more times than not, the steamroll would happen like 50% of the matches. But uh, the last few days I haven't really had that happening, so maybe things are changing. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. Please hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to keep making these videos once to twice per week, depending on my work schedule and all that. I'm going to try my best to make at least work on the videos every single day, because honestly, I'm having a, quite a bit of fun with it. I didn't think I'd enjoy it this much. Really enjoying it, even though I only have, you know, 10 views per video, if that. All right, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, do all that good jazz, and I will be back. See you all in a few days.